Hey guys, it's Brendan here from Matic Gaming, and today I'm going to give you a quick guide for the Toxic Crate Historian achievement, trying to find all the 24 Obelix Shards around the world. Uh, it's quite easy, and I'll just show you some screenshots with uh, some circles on it showing you exactly where the locations are. Okay, so the first zone that we will go to is Kessex Hills, where we start all of this. And the only tricky one here is the one in the center. And basically what you want to do is you want to go to the south side of the tower and then swim underneath and go straight to the vista that's there. Then once you get to the vista, you can turn around and you'll see a big cave. Uh, swim in that cave and you'll find the obelisk shard in there. Then all you have to do is follow the path that's laid out and they're all pretty obvious just in the water. The one to the east is, is in a little crate structure uh, under the water as well. The second zone is Mount Maelstrom. There are four locations here. They're also pretty easy to find. The two in the middle, one is under, the north one is in the water, and the one to the south is actually on top of the structure near the vista, kind of near the champion, but it's right before the champion, so you don't have to kill him. And the ones to the west and east are uh, fairly easy to see. Now we have Blood Tide Coast. There are four in Blood Tide Coast. The north one is by the puzzle. If you've been there before, it's actually not inside the puzzle. It's on the west side of the puzzle, so you just have to swim around. Then the one in the middle is kind of out in the open in the water, pretty easy to see. And the third one down is actually when you go to that waypoint, you want to swim straight down into the cave. And inside that cave, you'll find the obelisk shard. Then you can swim out. Uh, just go straight up and swim out and then head to the to the southeast and you will find the fork shard there The next location is Gendern fields. There are also four locations in Gendern fields. They're kind of tucked away in uh, Like waterfalls and things like that like the north one is in a waterfall but there's not really anything you have to worry about They're all pretty much out in the open when you get to the location. Uh, they're not very difficult to find and then you have the one in the middle, which is which is by the pirates. The next zone is Sparkfly Fen. Now this is probably the easiest path. This is the last zone that has four. The other two zones only have two. Uh, what I did was you start up north and you go to the north point. You have to swim all the way down. It's a uh, quite. It's actually pretty far. And grab that one, and then port down to the other three. And you could just you could just make a straight line south, and you'll run into all of them. Alright, this is the first zone that has two locations. The This is just like the Mount Maelstrom one, where it's on a crate structure. The north one is in the water, and the south one is up on top of the structure. So so make your way up there, and, and it'll, it'll be clear to you where it's at. Okay, this is the last zone, and it has two locations. This is Caledon Forest. Head to the far east side of Caledon Forest, and basically there is a location all the way up north and a location all the way down south. Okay, this has been a quick guide for the obelisk shards, trying to find all 24 of them for your achievement. I hope this was able to help some of you guys, and I hope you guys are enjoying the event so far. See you guys.